So I've produced a few short clips of this engine running um, and it runs very well and we'll, we'll give it another go in a minute. But I thought first I'd just talk you through some of the elements of the design of this uh, engine and some of the features. Um, it's based on the idea of um, Heron of Alexandria's uh, steam turbine, steam engine, um, known as the uh, Hero engine or, or Aeolipile. Um, Eolipile, that's how you pronounce it, I think. Um, please correct me down below uh, if I'm wrong or uh, send me a message. Um, so what you've got is a steam vessel here. It's a copper sphere. This uh, is heated with a burner that's underneath here. That's the burner. Um, you'll see that in a minute when I load it up with uh, uh, ethanol. And then that heats the water, turns it into steam. That comes up through these pipes and out through these. These pipes are slightly squashed at the end. You can just see that, but they are squashed to give it a jet. Um, there's three pipes. I tried one, two, and three pipes. Um, three seems to work best, best if it's balanced. It does run very fast. Um, to fill the thing up, you open and undo this top. button with the jets in so the as I said the steam comes up through that hole and then out through those jets they're all soldered into place the actual steam vessel itself as I said is made out of 0.9 millimeter copper now that was created in two halves I made up this jig so this is a mild steel jig to hold discs of copper uh, you can see this. There's a, it's, it's two plates of mild steel held together with uh, lots of cap head bolts. One of the holes is slightly smaller diameter than the other one, and that means that I can lock a piece of copper in there, and then I can push this half sphere. And that's what the spigot is at the top here. This to align it in the uh, in the press. And I can push that all the way through. And when I push it all the way through, I've got clearance for a 0.9 millimeter piece of copper all the way around. And I've also very crucially got, and it's difficult to see here, but a slightly curved, well, definitely a curved edge here. Um, so that I don't, otherwise you tend to tear the copper. So you do need a curved edge on here. And, and it needs to be fairly significant. So clamp this, anneal the copper, clamp it up, Press it, you can only press it a small amount at a time. Take it all apart again, anneal it again, put the copper back in and keep pressing. You need about five presses to get that fully formed. So, back to the engine. We've got a, a ball race in the top here, which allows the, the actual chamber, the actual uh, boiler to rotate very freely. It's got a piece of uh, it's actually phosphor bronze that comes up through there, six millimeter diameter. That's a piece of Corian. So I wanted an insulator between the boiler and the bearing. So that's a piece of Corian plastic machined, six millimeter ID and eight millimeter OD with a, a collar neck on the top, a step on the top. Um, and then that's been um, thread locked into that bearing. And the bearing itself has been pushed into this brass frame. As I said, I've got a, this is uh, to hold my fill. It's just a copper dish. It's meant to be a, a little bit of a take on War of the Worlds. So you'll see there's a bit of a crop circle going on here. It's like the three legged singers. Uh, uh, Alien from Mars has landed in its uh, spaceship. Uh, the crater and the, and the leftovers of the crater forms the burner. Um, it says C. There's there's enamel around the outside here, meant to look a bit like it's molten. Uh, I hope it looks okay. So let's go about filling it up and uh, and fire it up. So I fill this with pre-boiled water. Try and take some of the hardness out. Distilled water would be even better, perhaps. But and I have to have a syringe with a with a very long tube on because you have to go down through this hole into the actual boiler to get the water in and I put four lots, four syringe fulls 
into that boiler. Sorry. Right, so we've got water in there. We'll put the uh, top back on. As you can see, there's a tiny little O-ring on there. It's not surviving very well. It's getting a bit hot. Maybe I'll have to perhaps replace that with a copper washer. Soft copper washer might be better. We put that in place. And we just tighten it up very carefully. So we'll just put some, as I said, ethanol into here. Um, so what we've got in here, let me just talk you through that first, because what we've got in here is cotton wool. So it's cotton wool in a copper vessel, and then just a, a mesh over the top. Um, mesh just protects it a bit, otherwise you'll find you'll get fibres and they'll just burn off. But if you just do it like that, and then, as I say, just fill it up with good load of ethanol on it if it, un if it runs outside in this tray it's okay it just just burns off fairly quickly so we'll put that there make sure you put the top back on the ethanol you don't want it open and then we can light it with a match there it is I love that pop when it goes and the vapor catches fire The water is quite warm. You can hear it just boiling. It's just boiling now. Move the microphone a bit closer. There we go. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> 